hey, do you want to start taking banger photos of your dogs like this or like this starting today? Then you need to follow me through this video because I'm going to show you guys how I take these photos of my dogs. So I get a lot of messages on Instagram and the comments and the DMs asking me how do I take such amazing photos of my puppies? They're so unique and they're very high quality. How do I get them to stay and get these like really interesting uh, photos? So I thought in this video I would share with you guys some of the tips and tricks that I use to get those kinds of results from the dogs and in my photography. So uh, let's not waste any time. We're just waiting on my friend to bring her puppy be over and we're gonna use uh, trucker as or is it Tucker or trucker we're gonna use a puppy for this video um, and I believe he's about eight weeks old and yeah we're just gonna get right into it So we got Trunks over here. He's gonna be our model for today's photo shoot. And before I get started with any kind of uh, pictures that I take of puppies or even Fuli, uh, there's a few things that I like to get myself prepared with. And one of those things are, uh, you wanna make sure that you have some treats on hand, uh, some kind of squeaky toy or some kind of um, toy that your dog might react to. And also I like to always make sure that I have my phone on me or an iPad, which clearly right now I do not have in my pocket but those are some of the tools that I use to get some of the pictures. And um, right now, Chunks is, you know, he's fairly calm. I let him play with Fuli for a little bit and to get some of his energy out. And um, right now I'm just gonna put him on the bed and kind of let him get him situated and familiar with the area. So basically what I'm trying to do right now with him is just to create a bond, just because it's our first time meeting and he doesn't really know me. He doesn't know the area and I just really want him to get like really relaxed and be in a calm state and by the looks of it he's pretty much already there. He feels just like he's at home so um, I think I'm just gonna kind of like start shooting now. Um, sorry, taking pictures and we're gonna see what we come up with. So one of the things that I like to do um, before taking pictures is actually plan out the setting, kind of have a good idea in my head of like what kind of pictures I want to take. Um, right now we're taking pictures on my bed um, and this is primarily where I do do my pictures. Come here. <laughs> This is primarily where I take pictures of the puppies. So I like to go for a more like contrasty look with, um, you know, a lot of, you know, dark um, colors. So I like my pictures to be a little bit more moody. So I have specifically like designed essentially my room and like my bedding uh, to be able to take pictures of dogs here because um, that's the kind of like the style that I go for. So Trunks over here is a fawn sable and I really like this match because he's gonna really pop off the sheets over here because the sheets are gray and he's got a much lighter coat. So right now he is very focused on this uh, toy, which is really good. And I just wanna start taking some pictures, maybe having him look out there, look at the camera, look away. And one thing that you guys don't wanna do guys um, is that you don't wanna take pictures like this. You really want to make sure that you get down onto the dog's eye level and take pictures like that over here. And then if you want to make it really interesting, okay, go back, go back, go back. Sit down. Come on. You can do it. 
down. Good boy. Good boy. So now I gave him a treat and I'm getting down to like his eye level. And if you see my camera, it's really focusing in on that eye. I might just bring up my ISO a little bit more and then come into like 50 millimeters and just take pictures like that. So right now he's a little bit hyper, um, but he's pretty smart for like a 15 week old puppy. Like he's very obedient. He's listening fairly well. He's focused. Sit. Good boy. See how I create some depth over here or put something in the foreground makes the photo a lot more interesting sit. All right, so another thing that you guys want to keep in mind is that the more if the more distance you have from your background, um, the more depth of field you're going to get. And what that essentially means, uh, just to keep it very like simple, is that the further your subject is from the background, the more cut out they're gonna be from that background. So that's when you get like that blurriness. I do wanna show you guys another trick um, that I use with my phone. And this is why I said to either get a phone or a laptop. Not a laptop, iPad, but you could use your laptop as well. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna grab your phone and you're gonna wanna go to YouTube and then you're gonna type into the search squeaky toy sounds. And then there's gonna be a bunch of different results, but there's one that I really found that's really cool. I'll drop the link in the description for you guys so you guys can go there and check it out. But basically what I do is I play this and then see you get like those head tilts make it very interesting yeah all right so i'm gonna do a little bit of a voice over here just because the sound coming from that track was a little bit distracting and i want to be able to give you guys as much information as possible so what i'm doing here is i'm just trying to get trunks to face the window just because he does have a very dark face and i want that window light to light up his face so i could have um, just even lighting right across from his face and then i'm also experimenting with the sounds coming from that track and just kind of moving around the moving the camera around with the phone and just trying different angles So right now he's just kind of like following the sounds coming from the phone. I'm putting it close to my lens because I want him to be looking up at the camera when I do take the picture. All right, so right now we have trunks like super, super chill. Um, we got a gold chain on him. I've never done pictures like this before so it's gonna be really exciting check this out so we're just gonna photography is is experimenting trial and error and then once you do it more and you get more of a hang of it you kind of know what your style is how to take the pictures and what to plan for what to do and what not to do so I've done I've probably taken pictures well I don't know probably over like a hundred 150 dogs so I've done this a few times and I think one of the biggest things that like really work all the time for me is once I reestablish a good relationship with the dog and some kind of bond and just really letting them um, getting comfortable in that in their like setting where you're going to be taking the picture. So right now 
Um, trunks is like super comfortable and this makes me as a photographer very easy to take pictures of them because look at him, he's just so freaking cute. He's like, I know you're talking about me. You also want to make sure you get a variety of photos, um, especially if you're going to be using for social media. Um, I like to get a mixture of both like landscape and portrait. So whenever your camera's like this, that's landscape. If you tilt it over, that's portrait. All right, let's give it up for Trunks over here. I think we have wrapped it up with his photo shoot and he did such an amazing job. Let's put our hands together for him and let's, <laughs> let's give him back to his owners. Um, what we're gonna do next is I'm gonna bring you guys into my computer and we're gonna go take a look at some of these photos that we took of Trunks and I'm gonna show you guys how I get these photos ready and how I edit them uh, for Instagram. Guys, that's my process of how I take pictures of puppies and how I get them ready for a photo shoot. If you guys like today's video, let me know down in the comments. Make sure that you guys are subscribed to the channel and make sure you hit that notification bell so you guys get notified of future videos. And until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video.